welcome back to a passion for detail my friends today we are going to clean this Audi TT roof using Renovo convertible cleaner so sit back relax and let's get it So you are going to need a small bucket to put them in, the cleaner, a paintbrush, a toothbrush, a detail factory brush, a nail brush and two other style scrubbing brushes. So let's rinse the hood. I'm actually using a pressure washer here but the pressure is turned right down. Little tip, don't use a high pressure pressure washer to do this, um, otherwise you'll get loads of lines in your convertible roof and could damage the fibres. Otherwise, just use a garden hose, guys. Just use a garden hose. So, we're going to use the Renovo Soft Top Fabric Cleaner. You don't need to dilute this product, you can just use it neat, so no need to dilute it. Uh, the reason I use a bucket and a brush is it does make application a lot, lot easier. It also makes helps you work it into the fabric. And as you can see, the working straight lines or crisscross is whichever is easiest for you and as I say using the brush does help sort of aid applying it especially sort of tight areas around sort of paintwork where you don't want to scratch or get any product over the over the car so this product is very very clever so what it does do is it breaks down uh, yellow mildew uh, you can see there at the top of the, the glass there's a uh, some, some mildew building up and you can allow this to dwell <coughs> You can actually allow it to dwell from 20 minutes for just a, a maintenance clean or up to two hours depending on how dirty the, the roof is. We're actually going to allow this to dwell for two hours. If it does dry, no problem. Well, all you do is you add some water to it and it reacts the formula. So absolutely brilliant. A lot of them you have to sort of use them straight away. So this is great. Plays close attention to the... The, the tight edges especially sort of around the, the seams that's where that green moss and grime builds up um, just so you know this car actually hasn't had this roof cleaned in three years of ownership and it is looking a very very sorry for itself and the last thing you're going to do is actually wipe down the glass and any paintwork please make sure you work in stable conditions and not in direct sunlight otherwise you could have some problems especially if it dries on the panel so we've reactivated the formula you can see there i've just wet the, around the window and also took a bit of the roof and we're actually going to use a this is actually a geon tire brush you don't need to be too gentle with these roofs they're they're, they're multi-layered um funny enough that the it's just a material on top of like a neoprene rubber and everyone thinks that it's the material that protects the car from leaking that's not true at all but as you can see already that the the green algae that's built up in the fibers over time is definitely starting to come out. The reason I've used this straight brush is it was the only thing I could get in that gap between the bodywork and the roof as the, the, the roof doesn't come up from that point. So trying to get into there where that rubber seal was was very, very difficult. And the reason I used this, the slightly stiffer brushes is um, a, a normal nylon tire brush. Uh, wasn't enough so I had to try this GM one it was a little bit stiffer and actually it worked a treat as you can see there's really drawing all that green dirt and crud out um, doing absolute wonders so for the flat tops uh, I wet the panel just to make sure that it's lubricated as you can see it reactivates it and I'm using the softest drill brush that I've, I have I would probably say this is no stiffer than the hog's hair brush and I'm using a drill on very, very low speeds. I've done this so many times, guys. So if you are going to use this on your roofs, I'd only recommend using it on the flat panels. And working a bit like a polishing, if you're going to be polishing a car, left to right, 
and overlapping as you do it. And then what I do once I've done one section, a bit like polishing, I just wipe down with a microfiber towel and then just sort of pat it dry. What this will do is I can inspect the area to see if it's pulled out all the, the yellow mildew and all the grime and see if I need to redo it. If you need to, just repeat the process. The product stays in the fiber. Um, just agitate with a little bit of water first and you'll be good to go. You can see there that it's looking absolutely fantastic. So these seams, as I said, um, it's very, very important you, you concentrate on these areas because this these are the worst bits, especially in these grabs. So if you can, pull the, pull the roof fibers aside and get that brush in there. If you haven't got this style of brush, a toothbrush will work magic. Just take your time with it. Try not to brush the paintwork at all. Otherwise you can get some scratches. Right, now time for the rinse. As you can see, the amount of green dirt coming off that has really, that formula in that product has really done wonders in pulling that green moss and algae out of that roof. But a light pressure washer, um, it is very, very, very light. Um, it's not gonna cause any lines in, in the roof and use plenty of water. These roofs are like a giant sponge. They suck absolutely everything up. So take your time with it, rinse it clean. Once you've done that, you're going to need to some dry the roof. I normally towel dry it, and then I just use my Blow RS just to get the last of the moisture out. And then I will leave that to air dry for a couple of hours. I pay close attention to all the seams just to make sure that all the all the products, all the dirt is out there. And all the water. So we're going to use Autoglim fabric conditioner. This is going to help repel water and also stop that green moss from building up in the fabric again. Apply it liberately and then using a rubber glove, I just run up my hands over it just to make sure I rub it right into the fabrics. Don't worry if you get any on the glass, guys. We're, we're going to use a damp microfiber cloth to, to remove it. Please bear in mind that do not do this on a sunny day um, and you've got stable conditions, otherwise you are going to have a problem with that bonding to the paint or the glass and it could be very, very difficult to remove and I'm sure you guys do not want that. So yeah, get, make sure you get all the bits off the glass, off the paintwork and then look at this. What a result. It's not 100%. It never is for a car that's 15 years old, but all the green moss has now gone and the roof is fully protected for the months to come. The owner is going to be very, very happy. Thank you for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel and if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And if you want to watch another detailing video, click here. That is my Carbon Collective Ceramic Shampoo video. It's my favourite one. You're going to love it. And I'll see you in the next one.